Hi folks, Doc here. We're going to deviate from our normal Sprockets Garage content here and get away from the mechanical stuff and into survival stuff for a change. This may become a trend, for now it's just a video. Uh, this past weekend and the time leading up to it really, uh, my 16 year old son Gary has been experimenting with alternate fire starting methods uh, that you know don't necessarily use matches or lighters or anything like that. Um, and he's been playing around with a bow drill. So when we went away this weekend, uh, he took his bow drill up, I took the camcorder up and we decided to see if he could create a fire from just a couple of pieces of wood and some string in one take without any editing or any, you know, mucking around or backstepping or whatever the case may be. And uh, we shot it and uh, Sparks Garage is going to share that with you. So stick around and see what happens. Okay, Gary, tell us what you're doing. All right, I'm gonna create fire using friction. Right now, I'm gonna to have to burn the hole. When you burn it, you start creating the divot form. Once you create the divot form, you're gonna start cutting your notch. The way you can tell your divot form is starting to work is by the fact that you've got smoke. I'm already seeing smoke, that's impressive. You just started. And now you're stopping. Yes, because now you gotta cut the notch. Without the notch, you get no oxygen. Ah. Let's see, look at me something use this baton. That'll work. That'll work. Next, you gotta create the notch. a little bit of work to get the notch. I was just I was just impressed as hell when I watched you do this the other night and boom next thing I know fire. No matches, no lighter. A couple pieces of wood, piece of string. Yeah it's very simple. If all you have is a knife and you know your shoes pretty much you can start a fire. It's crazy. Alright there's the notch. What's going to happen is when I put the spindle into the hearth board, it's going to create a black powder. Um, it's not in there anymore. When the powder is in there, friction, ha when friction causes it to heat up. And when you have enough heat, you get a number. Let's see if I can do it. I'm sure you can. First, you got to twist the spindle into the bow. Next, you take the bearing block, put it on top of the spindle. Now the spindle has to be in a specific shape. Think of it as a school pencil, though so this end is not sharpened fully, and this end is the used up eraser. You get more friction down here, less friction up here. Less friction in the top, it's better for the bottom. And as that harvester gets closer, the noise, background noise is gonna get a little loud. But let's just do this. I want to try and see if we can do this in one take and show everybody there's no editing or mucking about. As you see, there's already black powder starting to come. And once you start seeing it, pick up pace on the bow, you start seeing the smoke. So the best chance of getting this going is once you see the notch start to spill out. And you've cut that notch a little too skinny. I did. Okay, so I see a little smoke. What the smoke there means there's an ember inside of that. If you come around to the other side, you'll start seeing it to blacken. With the blackening, watch. When it's showing black, it means you have a number. Then, 
you take your tinder pile. Take the ember, so we've got to be very careful with it since it's very delicate. See? It's starting to black. Drop it in. Knock the rest of the powder with it. There we go. You then take your tinder pile, fold it over. Oh, it's starting to go red, which is good. Fold it over, hold it like this. Definitely looking promising. Don't drop the fire on your face. Oh, look at that, flames. Awesome. Pull it upside down for a little bit, let the flames get up. Put it under your kindling pile. Kind of a random garbage pile of kindling, but hey. Doesn't matter, it works. You just let it burn. There you go. Fantastic. One take, no editing. Fire from spinning a stick. That is awesome. Take a bow, son.